got the U-Haul. We're getting the truck. Uh, we're getting the balancer today. So everything's going to be put in here. Um, I measured it out. Everything should fit. So that's it. Let's let's hope everything goes good. They're going to be bringing it down this little ramp right here. Put me right in. And then I should be good to go. Hey everybody, it's Dave. Thank you for coming back to Disturbing Creations. And today I got a special for you. It's an unboxing episode. You guys know I love getting stuff in the mail. I just, I get a box like every couple of days because we're doing so much. Every time I get a box, it's like Merry Christmas because I see a box on my porch or in my shop. I'm just kind of like, whoa, it's Christmas, man. I ordered something. What did I get? I forgot. Hi guys, welcome back to System Creations. Oh, I'm out of breath, man. I just took this box, this huge, huge crate, out of here. This was number two. So, um, guess what? Boom! Balancing machine. So this is all the computer stuff, and then here's the nice arm where you put the tire on, and it spins around. I gotta get. It. All this unboxed. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I only got the top off right now. So I had to take... That's how ridiculous this is. I had to take a screwdriver and bend these or bent over like, like here. And I had to take a screwdriver and get down in there and try to open, open this up a little bit. And, I'll, and then I had to try to get something else to try to Bend, bend this, oh, it's just ridiculous. It's like almost as flat as I can, you know? So that it'll, <clears throat> oh Christ. So it'll slide through. Oh. So I did that to the top. You see they're all bent up. And then I pulled the, off of this side. I'm trying to get this one out. So there's a little pinchy thing to measure the tires like a little Pac-Man. I'll teach you guys all about that. Okay, so I just want you to see how terrible this is. Unboxing this machine. Uh, once I get all the wood broken off, uh, I'll come back. Ooh, it's 90, 95 degrees. I'm sweating so bad. I don't even want you guys to see me right now. Oh, I'm glistening, baby. All right, we'll be right back. Oh, boom. Machine number two, we got the balancer going on. Now, not only can we change tires and anything we want with the big octopus three-arm machine, boom, balance them too. And everything now is all digital, brand new wheel balancer, brand new tire machine. I just opened this out of the crate. You guys saw me trying to get it out. It was a mess. These wooden crates are terrible. They're very heavy. This thing was like 250 pounds or something like that. I had to carry it by myself all over the shop. It's so awkward. Oh, it was just a nightmare. But um, this is it. So I got a few of these little pieces that um, you put those in the hub, the circle of the wheel uh, to make them hold on. And then you take this piece here, put the tire on here, take this piece, and you just you tighten it up and then you punch in what you want beep 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 you know there's different kinds there's static um there's uh so there's a um static was just one and then it has aluminum um inside outside it has aluminum both on the inside but one on this side of the rim so one on this side of the rim one on this side of the rim inside that's this Inside outside is inside the rim and then on the outside lip. And then this one is inside and on the, um, or uh, outside and on the um, outside as well. But there, there's three different settings here. So the static is, is just the one. And there's four settings. I, I gotta go over and, and teach you guys what they are in the book. I, I kinda gotta memorize them myself. I, I memorized them last night to do this video and then I, uh, I, I uh, did not. Um, so we have the tool here to measure. So this is the measuring tool and it 
pinches in close, you know, you take the measurement of the rim to rim, not the tire, the rim to rim. Uh, and then you punch that in, so that would be B, rim to rim. Uh, then we have this, this is a really nice thing right here. This is um, a digital meter, so you bring this out and it shows how far out the rim is. So you might have a 16 inch rim that's 10 inches wide, but it doesn't, it does, it's a deep dish. So the tire might be sitting here, you know, that's not a deep dish, but if it's a deep dish that you might have to wheel this all the way in and it might be sitting out here. So you only have to go this little bit and then it measures it for you. <clears throat> how many centimeters out? <clears throat> you don't have to calculate it. It does everything for you. And it tells you how much weight on this side or how much weight on this side if you're doing one of these three. And if you're doing just static, it tells you how much weight on this side. Um, you do have to punch in the number of the rim size as well. And it'll tell you. So um, this is the width of the rim. Uh, this is the rim size. So you can go up or down 15, 16, 17, 18 uh, rim size. Uh, we want to go lower from 10, 9, 8, 7, uh, and then this is the adjustment A, which is this thing. So once you get everything put in, you go through everything, and then you hit start, and it automatically does it for you. Um, these are options. Um, here's the safety switch. So it has the spring, the cup, um, a real mini small one here, you know, and it also comes for an extra big rim, a safety plate, so you can put on here so you can back it up. Oh, so you can put it on here so you can back it up and not hit the inside of the rim or if you have to turn it over. Uh, I mean, it's just a great machine. So just because you made it this far, I got a little joke for you. Um, for what I paid for it, it's a great machine. Uh, so I'm really impressed. It was very hard to go with the U-Haul and pick the machine up by myself. I forklifted it in, then you have to get it off the U-Haul yourself. So I had to carry this down the ramp and everything else, but this is going to make my shop so much more advanced. Not only is it aesthetics of when you come into a shop and you see nice painted walls with the name on the, on the wall, you know, but you see brand new machines, nice clean toolboxes you know who has this at at their their mom and pop shop not too many no people at home have these at their house that's why we have a three bay shop so we're building it slowly it's coming along um man this is going to help me so much when i'm drifting i'm not going to feel um there's not going to be a weight shift and the tire spinning um, when I'm doing 60, 70 miles an hour, there's not going to be the shimmy in the steering wheel because the tire's going to be balanced correctly. Uh, I can also make a few dollars now and change tires for people if they just, you know, want to bring me some specialized tires. Uh, I could change them and put them on. So um, I think I'll get paid for these probably within the next year of uh, just using these for um, uh, uh, to do tires and balance tires for people. But I have so many cars and race cars and I go through tires like crazy doing spin-offs and stuff that now I don't have to take my stuff anywhere. I mean, to change tires and get them balanced, it's like 100, 125 bucks for a regular set of tires now, let alone low pros or even more. So I'm saving money. Um, I have 10 cars. You know, if I'm spending $120 and I change a set of tires every year, that's $1,125. If I do that for two years, Boom, bought the balancer. Um, if I do that in two more years, boom, bought the tire machine. That's four grand right there. I saved myself within five years. And that's not me doing anybody else's machine. I mean, these machines, I, I, I've seen some of these machines that are 15, 20 years old and still working great. And You, you know, this isn't Pet Boys. We're not beating this machine up doing 100 tires a day. So I really think it's a good investment. Um, thinking about painting this purple. I'm going to paint that purple and paint the tire, um, wheel balancer purple to go with the colors of the shop here because I found some green toolboxes that are lime green, but I can't find any purple toolboxes. So I'm going to go with the green toolboxes and the purple machines. I'm going to paint the lift purple and then the legs green so you can see them. Uh, I think it's going to go on with the whole scheme. 
Comment down below and tell me if you like the paint scheme. You know, if you guys think I should just keep it red, if red looks more professional, if red gives off a look of, um, you, you know, because most of these are red when you go somewhere to a professional shop. Uh, you know, should I, if I leave it red, you know, if I get a lot of people saying, yeah, professional shops, they're red, they're blue, you know, leave it alone, um, it's under warranty, this and that, whatever. Uh, I'll take that into consideration because I appreciate what you guys tell me. You know, we're here for each other. I want you guys to comment and tell me what you want and I'm gonna, you know, give you those videos geared toward what you want. But thanks for coming for um, witnessing the balancer and how to use the balancer. You'll be seeing me use the balancer in the shop all the time, I'm going to do an actual how to use the machine video and how to use the tire machine video. That's not gonna be a part of this video because I don't wanna run out too long. But please like and subscribe. I'm putting a lot of money into this. It was $8,000 for these two machines and a nice lift. Um, this new channel isn't even monetized yet, but with your help, with the likes and the subscribes and the shares, I can get monetized just like my old channel was. We can get monetized quickly, start getting sponsors so I can bring you better videos. So again, subscribe, hit the like button, share. We love you all. We're coming out with a couple of videos a week. Disturbing Creations, this is where we're at. Peace out.